recording star Zion say with your whole life ahead of you. Welcome to Sojanelle. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> when I saw your single produced by Viva Records, no less, a Labumo, I thought it was very catchy and fun. So could you take us through your um, your journey as a recording artist? I started singing firstly when I was six years old and through the time up until now I'm 18. Um, I've been having many different voice coaches, you know, just people helping me along the way, even the best need a coach. A company called Bites and Notes and then I, following that I went to PNC and then also again I changed to another coach, um, her name is Miriam Pantik and shout out to all them, they got me to where I am today. You started singing at six and you've been singing since and you're 18 now. What was that like? Was there every time when you said, oh, you know, maybe I should stop now, it's been years? Yeah, I always question myself if this was actually, yeah, something that I really wanted to do, especially now since um, Corona and COVID and, and all that. I'm just like really focusing on like trying to live in the moment, especially because I graduated this year. So I didn't get to like spend it with the rest of my friends and stuff, you know, spend the last couple of times that we had together. Yeah, singing is what I, I want to do. I think, yeah, it's what I can see myself doing. It's just a matter of growing up and, you know, pushing yourself to do it. <laughs> You've done it. I mean, Viva Records is uh, one of the big wow. uh, recording uh, record labels in the Philippines. And, and, and you got in and they produced a single for you. I was first um, discovered by Viva from one of their concert promoters. Uh, her name is Joanne De Leon. And I just had a show in the Bay Area. I forgot which one it was, honestly. But she, she saw me perform and, yeah, she recommended me to Austin. And, yeah, they liked me, so... I went to the Philippines, they, I introduced myself to them, and yeah, that's where we went off from there, and thank the Lord, she was there. <laughs> through your song, La do you, do you know, do you even know what it means, and how you're able to give it the proper <laughs> you know? I've been singing like many Tagalog songs, so, and my, my coaches and my mom, they all help me like with pronunciation and stuff, so, like from when my first song I took all to now, it for sure sounds more better. I got the pronunciation and stuff right. And yeah, my song La um, it means like you're being indecisive, you know. Where do you plan to take this? Right now, there's no traveling. I would assume that Viva would have plans for you to um, promote your single, maybe a lot of guestings in the Philippines, but you're here. So uh, what are the plans? Um, well, right now we're doing stuff online. Like a couple weeks ago, I did a live video on Facebook and I just sang a couple songs for the audience, you know, just to get them engaged and like to answer a few questions since I can't be there or anything. So yeah, that's, that's really all we can do. <laughs> when um, COVID's over, because I've been spending my time here. So yeah, after the, that's over, then I'll be spending my time in the Philippines. Right. Um, so if you were into singer, what would you think, what do you think would you be? I like modeling. Modeling is my thing. I like dressing up and just like posing. I just, I like taking pictures. I'd be feeling myself a lot. <laughs> well, as a singer, what do you think is your edge over, you know, other singers? Really, it's all in the voice. I feel like my voice is really different because I have like that kind of like grudgy, like low tone. My voice, I kind of remind myself of Alicia Keys because how low her octaves are, you know, how low she can go and like how powerful her voice is. That's where I, I get my, my, my vibes from. <laughs> and you know, you're gorgeous. So you're half Filipino and half black, right? Um, mm -hmm. Do you think that there's more opportunities now that are opening up? Do you think there would be more because of also just, you know, the recent events that's been going on and, uh, and, uh, and the spotlight on social justice and all that? I think this is for sure a time for black women in general just to like flourish and black people have been stepping up you know this year i've just been seeing different colors everywhere and i think it's amazing yeah and me being black and filipino that just adds a little more spice to it <laughs> all of my family has been supportive yeah my mom's my number one fan <laughs> her and my dad <laughs> as a kid or like when you're growing up you have to try different things just be open to new opportunities and experiences and you'll see where it'll take you I know that you're thankful uh, to your parents for their support because I'm sure that mm -hmm. 
to be where you are, right? Without their help, without yeah. support, this interview wouldn't have happened because then it was your mom, right. you know, alerted us about you. But for others that are watching, for Filipino parents that are not quite as open for their parents to get into this profession or industry, what would be your message to them? Well, for the people that want to get into it, I say just to do whatever makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, it's yourself, you know, it's what you're going to be doing. It's what you're going to be put through, you know, <laughs> whatever you feel most comfortable in. And regardless of what it is, yeah, you should always do what makes you happy because, yeah, you have to take care of yourself at the end of the day. And there is mom. Hi, mom. How are you? Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was telling uh, Zionse that she's lucky that she has parents that support her with her dreams, you know? Um, at what point did you realize that your daughter has talent and that it's probably better for you to support her? When she was uh, around probably like five, five years old, um, I've been hearing her doing some whistling. Mm -hmm. Like the once, I mean the whole song, she was whistling with the whole song. And my mom, she used to do that with, you know, instead of singing, she whistled. So and when I look back and she was doing it and later on she started, you know, humming and uh, following the music. So uh, around six years old, I told my husband, maybe I could enroll her to, uh, um, to the voice lessons. And that's what he started. And did you ever regret that decision to enroll her? Are there times when you just want to tell her to stop what she's doing? When we put her to the uh, voice lesson, we didn't think about that she's going to be, you know, a professional singer. We just wanted her to just to learn more on developing and singing. And then later on, we enrolled her to the um, uh, modeling because she was very shy. She was hiding underneath the table. <laughs> so when we enrolled her to the modeling in school, she gained her confidence and, uh, you know, they did everything for her, uh, the makeup, the, the acting. Uh, the runway. How do you feel right now? You, you know, you have a daughter who's a professional singer. Oh, I'm so happy. What makes you my, my son is also in the Philippines. He's also a singer. My, my son and a, a radio DJ. Basically runs from in the family. How do you raise uh, artists? Uh, how do you call it? Good genes. Good genes. <laughs> <laughs> what my husband is a singer also. He oh. loves to sing. How about a uh, momager? So are you a momager? Most definitely. Right, She's right. like my Chris Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> Zion Say though is quite a catchy name as well. Is that your real name? And where did mom get it from? Yeah, Zion Say is my real name. Um, I did it, well, a quick little story. When I was born, I didn't have a name for like three days because <laughs> they didn't know what to name me. And the rest of my siblings, all of my sisters, they all have Zs in their name as well. So um, the name actually came from my sister because um, she was listening, you know, that was when Beyonce was in Destiny's Child. So she wasn't like a big um, solo artist yet. But yeah, that's where she got um, my name from. So It's a cool <laughs> name, right? Yeah. Yeah. So your message, uh, Zionse, for your mom, you know, who's always been there, who gave you such a cool name. Thanks for not giving up on me, uh, even though I'm hard-headed. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I always love you. Yeah. Don't, think don't make me cry. Don't uh -huh. do that. Don't think that I'm very hard on you. <laughs> you know, I just want you uh, the best for you and um, also, you know, always pray to God. To God and thank God for all the talents that He gave you.